second work set, and something I would do, something Dr. Strano definitely do with an advanced client, is I'm going to alternate reps between the technique that I'm going to use to get the best of both worlds in the same set. So first rep, starting from the top, six second down, and I'm going to stay wide. So you got to notice how you start when you're just stopping, no contracting your back. Look at the distance here, and now open is your back. Look what happened to the distance. It pulls them down. It pulls them way down because now you're using your own way. Now when you're tight, don't lose that push up. Mm -hmm. Don't lose that loop, don't lose that tightness. Feel the difference between pushing forward tight and pushing loose up. Most people will relax, and Scott did it only intentionally, but most people will relax the rhomboids. But don't relax the rhomboids now and push it up and tell me what happens. So in other words, the rhomboids are a pressing platform on the bottom. I know, push it up. Look at the difference of that push. A lot more powerful. And after I bend less, the, the shoulder for tighter or even better on doing it up. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's definitely a good technique. Pulling them together. And I'm going to keep them together when I press up. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Major difference. Solid. I'm pushing like, like I'm in solid ground on the bottom. I'm able to push more. And actually, Scott is already screaming because six seconds down, <laughs> four seconds up, holding with your last back is, is it's unnatural to a degree, but it feels good. Yes, this is okay. Don't go there, so surround set to bench press a lot. No, <laughs> don't do that. Look how he's getting tired already. Yeah, that was nice. Light on the weight now. Completely relaxing back on the way up. Let's see what happens. Don't hold it tight. Don't do nothing. Just relax. Now you want me to relax before I press? Just relax. Yeah, I'm pressing. It's hard to relax actually at that point. Yes. Now you know how does it feel. Yeah. No, definitely. And this is something that takes you back to when I was benching heavy is the platform on the bottom is important. Yes, absolutely. So for somebody that is working on their barbell bench, whether it be for uh, oh, powerlifting yeah. power or anything, they want to use those rock weights as a platform. Absolutely. You this want is a good way to teach them. Yes. You can't absolutely. do it with a bar. Yes, absolutely. 